Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to some more Bannerlord. And, um, well, I've been thinking about what we can do, and I think the most appropriate course of action is to find someone to fight. <laughs> oh, well, alright, that would have been a little bit too fitting. Tell you what, though. Let's, um... Let's go around like this. I don't want to burn the village down, but yes, that is what I want to do. 6.1 speed. Is he willing to fight? He's not running from me, so... Ah, hello there. Yes. So you're not from the Empire. I'm pretty sure you've defected from somewhere. Alright, here's the thing. Surrender or die. Let's get to it. Now, the balance of power may say part of the tale, but, uh, oh god, <laughs> the map says the other part, Archer. I suppose. Alright, archers up there, infantry there, and I think... That should be enough to secure a... Infantry! Move! Victory for us. Oh, oh. Cavalry up there, I don't want you to get caught out. So here's the thing, we do outnumber them, but their troop quality on paper should be better than mine. However, I was going to say that all depends on the number of archers here, on the number of uh, cavalry he has. And he appears to have quite a few cavalrymen. Huh? I'll be honest with you, it's neither here nor there. Fuck. Yeah, that's good. That's even better. They're retreating harshly, no. I need to hit these shots. Shield. Alright. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Uh. They've bled us a little bit, but I think we've got this. Sorry for the, like, lack of commentary. But, um, it's... Like, it's pretty twitchy, if that makes sense. Not, not twitch.tv, but, like, um... Is it twitch.com? Yeah, twitch.tv, right? So, so I haven't been on that website in, in months. Sorry. Anyways, b completely besides the point, it's like... It requires quick reactions, this entire battle is the thing, that's why I'm, uh... That's why I'm saying that. Alright. So, in total, we've lost... Six. Two peasants, trained archer, palatine guard, that sucks. Actually, it doesn't suck that much, because they're ridiculously expensive and he hasn't been performing well. We do get Faram as a prisoner, though. That is great. And, ah, so it was Batanians. And these are the prisoners. Alright, I'll take all of them, obviously. Um, and quite a lot of upgrading to do, but I get the feeling that we're going to be able to afford it. Um, and I will need more archers after the, after this. Even though I haven't, per se, lost archers during this endeavor. I will need them anyway. Oh, now this is good. The gear here is very good. Tattered warp... Uh, wrapped, sorry. Not warped. <laughs> wrapped shoes. That's good. I'll be taking those. Um, 
padded. Wow, that is a serious upgrade. Okay. Now, a lot of this stuff is very expensive as well, which is important. Um, and, like, this is better as well, though it looks kind of silly, but, nay. Quality is quality and all that. And obviously, I'll take all the food. Cracked shield is neither here nor there. Um, the weapons are... If we're honest, kind of shit, but I think they're gonna fetch an okay price at the local markets and whatnot. So, oh god. Oh god, okay, let's get out of here. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. All right. It's very important that we do not take a fight right now. That is, that would be devastating. Uh, so yeah, visit the tavern district, ransom your prisoners. That's a lot of money. He's escaped from captivity. Well, it doesn't matter. Shame, but doesn't matter. As, as two thousand gold. That is a lot of money. Okay. But the best part is. That this isn't even like the end of uh, of the money making. So I want to leave the materials here because I I'm interested in. Uh... Ooh, this is a better shield, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely a better shield. I'll take that. Um, and I will sell all the weapons too. That's 3,000 gold. Jesus. Wow. Okay, we're suddenly wealthy. That's good. Um, let's recruit some troops. Can't recruit any troops here. That's fair enough, I suppose. Let's go down to the nearby village, I suppose. Can't recruit any troops. Uh, Alright. Get further south, then, I guess. Daily gold change nine. Uh, weird. I'm sorry. There's a, there's a zero bandit party. Both of them wounded. I needed to do this. Oh yeah, you just capture the enemy. Okay. <laughs> that Okay, that's that's kind of funny, uh, but it's grain and salt. Like, sure, it's just free. It's, it's, it's sitting there. That's good. Um. Okay. Well, now this place is under siege again. I just want to get a few soldiers in the army again. Start training them up before uh, he just took all the recruits, didn't he? He left me an archer. That is very much appreciated. Thank you very much. Uh, that's a big hideout. Don't want to attack that yet. Though I do want to see what's happening over here. So the garrison is just empty. Can't say that uh, I'm surprised, given everything, but this might be stupid, but can I recruit from a burned village? No, obviously not. That's not what I meant to say. Can I recruit? I can recruit from, like, hostile villages. That is... A little bit silly, but I also sort of understand it. Um, yeah, I do have those hillmen. and I'm dragging them around. I wanted to check out my uh, 
finances. Now, where would I do such a thing? Like the quest log? No. Yeah, right, here it is. So total income is 140 for the mercenary contract, and I'm paying 285 for the thing, so the daily change is 145. Okay, that, that makes sense. That actually makes sense, okay. Um, I, I wanted to check, like, how much my my daily income was, and... Well, I mean, you can see that there, but I wanted to check how much my income for, for the mercenary contract is, actually. Um, I was I was interested. Army of Poachers. Help with Forest Bandits. Uh, it's like, I would, I honestly would, but like... No. <laughs> Let's ransom those guys off, see if there's anything worthwhile doing here. Probably not. Um, I'm interested in a better bow, but like, the really good ones, the ones I want, are like 18,000 gold. So... Yeah, that's, that's not happening anytime soon. Um, Smithy, on the other hand, can I... Mind you, I don't have what to, to smelt, but I'm guessing I probably can't do it because of the... Uh, because I did it so recently. Yeah, the Empire's going to lose this horribly, did they? Ooh. I hope I can make it down here, because I think I can, actually, I can actually defend it. Well, I say that. Probably not. No. It's been captured already. We, we can't defend... I don't want to, you know, use profanity, but we can't defend squat, basically. This is just... Absurd, really. Okay, that was weird. Did someone? No. As there wasn't a. You see the thing there, and the party there was an exclamation mark, like something happened, like a notification, but. I don't see anything. Just slightly odd. Tell you what, though, we need food. Badly. So let's buy some produce. Um, tell you what. Like, 10 grain, 10 fish. Jeez, it's expensive. 10 grain, 10 fish, that'll do us. Alright. We're by the sea, you know, grain and fish is what we're gonna eat. Okay? Good. Now, uh... This is actually somewhat okay defended. Hundred and something men in it. And it just speaks volumes about the incompetence of our own uh, folks. Though we did create an army up here, I'm assuming the purposes of which are to wow. I'm assuming the purposes of which are to defend... Probably not, they're just going to siege this castle, aren't they? We're not keen on defending anything in this war, and... Honestly, given the fact that our Marshal flipped, I'm pretty sure he was the Marshal, or like, effectively the Marshal. I'm not really surprised. Um... up to them. That's a ridiculous speed, like six point something, Jesus. Alright. Why such a... See, here's the thing, like, I just paid 200 something
Did my contract just run out? Because that's the thing, that's what I really wanted to... Yeah, I think my contract, contract just ran out. So, like... Yeah, look at that, I'm, I'm no longer getting money from for being a mercenary, so if I were hypothetically to... I need to save here. If I were hypothetically to approach Tin Posse's army and be like, Yo, what's up? Who are you? You know we are at war, surrender or die. Okay, I must beg my leave. Is, ah, is, is that the thing? Like, I don't get weekly payments. Or, uh, I do get weekly payments. I don't get, like, uh, monthly payments. Is that the, uh, the principal issue here? So, I wish I could see that somewhere, like, you know, you have a mercenary contract. It's gonna last X amount of days long. And for all I know, there might be a button somewhere, but it's like... Leave Kingdom. Hmm? It's weird. That's, why is it here and here? Like, it's... Am I gonna leave... My Kingdom? Possibly? With... A tragic amount of men in the fight. Just tragic. Ah, oh, yeah, I suppose there it is, right? Huh. Well, to be fair, I forgot that, like, the best way of telling probably is the flag. If it's still purple, it's g I'm, I'm still a mercenary and I'm still for them. So, basically, everything I just talked about a few minutes ago, disregard. Um, I'm just being stupid. There you go. Because it's literally on the flag right there. It's, it tells you, like... But I do... Yeah. I sort of wish the, the, the mercenary contract was a bit more viable. Because uh, the way things are right now is basically... Footman, forward! Oh, no. Mark, move! Travel, move! Let's do that instead. It is just looters, but like it's a it's a forest and it's messy. And actually, I think it would be a lot better. Why are you just? So here's the thing: most people, when losing a fight from the get-go, do not charge blindly into it. I don't like your hair, by the way. It's very barbaric. For the time period, obviously. Um, just, eh, whatever. Just in the frozen north as well. That's the hair you have. Just Jesus. Uh, anyways, doesn't matter. Empire peasants. Eh, shame that like they're not even worth capturing. But what are you gonna do about it? Fish is good. Fish is useful. I'll just take everything. And I'll sell it eventually or smelt it down. Um, If such a thing may happen, but uh, this is going to be an interesting fight. Is there actually like a battle going, or is it... You've won the battle, haven't you? It's like, it's, it's 20 men left, but you've won the battle, but uh, never mind. I wish I got there sooner to actually properly fight, but eh, doesn't matter. It is what it is. Is there no siege equipment? What? Don't tell me you've attacked the castle with no siege equipment. 
So it, you, you literally cannot attack it with no siege equipment. You need something, but like, no real siege equipment, just like ladders or something. Wow, okay. Eh, beta is beta and all that. Well, early access is early access and all that. Oh, when you position the army on one end of the battlefield and the breach is on the other, obviously, so they take the maximum amount of time getting to where they need to be. All of this is perfectly logical to someone. Uh, excuse me, can you get your ass out of my... thank you. Like I said, all of this is perfectly logical to someone, somewhere, somehow, but not to me. There's a good opportunity to uh, take a look at the city, though. Well, we got him. Poor bastard. That's <sighs> sad. Like, civil wars are always the saddest, but... What you gonna do about it? It's not mine to make things right. I already had this monologue. Yep, good to see you. Seven points in charm, like, this is why we're doing this. <laughs> this is absolutely why we're doing this. Plus, I get the full benefits as if I were in, like, the proper battle from start to finish. Which, in my modest opinion, is stupid. But it is also incredibly difficult to code it otherwise, so... I understand. Um, I think a good way of doing it would be based on performance of your own men. So, like, if your men killed 50% of the enemy, you get 50% of the loot, right? I think that makes sense. Or at least it does in my head, but, you know. Mm, they're ugly. <laughs> they're really ugly, but, eh. Who cares? It's extra armor, and I need it. It's really good money as well. Uh, when I sell all of it, naturally. We've lost so much territory, though, and... I can kill him. I reckon I can beat him. Do I have any upgrading to do in the pot? Yes, I do. What was this? Oh, I can recruit him. Right, yeah, yeah, sure. Um, Imperial Veteran Archer. Imperial Trained Infantry. Let's go with... Um, okay, tell me, how many do I have? I have 19 range, 27 infantry. I like that ratio, let's keep it. So you could do with more range than less infantry, but I'm scared. Because the real problem isn't, like, like, the worst thing that can happen to us in battle is me getting injured, because then everyone charges and they don't hold the line, they don't stick to the plan. But, like, 48 versus 52, I reckon I can take him. Especially because, like, look at this. Oh, he has 26 Imperial recruits. Yeah. Sorry. You're, you're gone. You're done. You are totally done. Surrender or die. I don't care if you don't want to fight me. You're gonna fight me. That said, if we spawn somewhere in the middle of the woods, I'm gonna have... Look. I'm a little bit cross, but, but, it's not the worst spawn, because there's like a clearing ahead of us, but there's way too many trees for what we saw on the map, um, and I'm hoping that, you know, a couple of years from now, development, we might see, um, slightly more accurate 
battlefields compared to where you are in the map, but I understand also that just a plain, flat snow field is, is not very fun to fight on and that they can't really do that. I understand that completely, but I also understand that he's holding. No, no, like, archers here, infantry there. Cavalry there. Cavalry there. He's holding in, like, a block-shaped position, waiting for something. I really don't want to provoke him. Because, like, I can win the battle from here. My, my archers are really good. Like, I can probably start shooting and, and hitting stuff over there, and I'm not the greatest archer. There's actually, let's not... Let's stay perfectly still. You stay perfectly still as well. They're also not shooting me, which is a little bit odd, but okay. Who am I to judge one way or another? Who am I to say anything? Yeah, there you go, see? Like, they're not even in position, they're all, they've already started shooting. Okay, we're taking some shots back, now is the time to engage, and there we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Everyone charge. I'm assuming these are the recruits, mostly, that are with, that are, was roaring. Hit the fucker. Whoops. <laughs> hey, look, light profanity like that is... Actually, it's treated as heavy profanity by YouTube, but, like... It's allowed. As of recently. Oh, that, that's a shame. <laughs> that you've decided to continue fighting? That's unusual. Oh. Good dodge. Oh. Okay. There. Good. Good. We got him, and I think we've lost, like, what? One recruit, one infantryman. That's perfect. They're the most easily replaceable. And we have a prisoner. This was this was a beautiful fight. This was a beautiful fight. Plus all the prisoners. And all the loot, so... Ooh, an entire hog. That's... Useful. Uh, and I will just try and go through all the armors as quickly as possible. Essentially, I'm looking for something worth getting, or something worth keeping for myself. It's unlikely that we find it, other than this cape. Yeah, so it's like less arm armor, but it's more body armor. Doesn't look as good, honestly. Like, if it, if it were just simply straight up better, I would keep it, but... No. Alright, tons of grain. Very, you love to see it. Very, very good. Um, pitchfork, which is funny. Uh, all that. Alright. Great. So, let's stop by... Uh, actually, no, there's no need to stop by anywhere. Let's go straight for Onira. And in here, grab 
a few troops. Ransom all the prisoners. Um, escape from captivity, that's fine. I think I've just sold him. I think that's what happens, but yeah, anyways. Um, trade. And I'm pretty sure I just want to sell everything, like... Well, minus the, the hog and the food and whatnot, but, yeah. Oh, I'm liking this. Uh, this is the same as the one I have, yeah? Yep. Yeah. Rusty Spatha. Less thrust speed, more swing damage. I think I'll take it. There's an iron spather. I'm assuming this one is steel. Yeah, they're just different, but this one has more cut, and usually I'm cutting with it, so yeah. 4,000. Now we're talking. Alright, now we're talking. Ooh. <clears throat> this is, um... This is a very significant amount of gold now. And I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay off the mercenary work. Yeah, sorry, I just got a message from someone. Uh, I think I'm going to lay off the mercenary work and uh, get a caravan going, maybe, or like buy... Actually, more likely, go to like a peaceful part of the world. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, bear with me. Somewhere that isn't besieged every two minutes. Um, like, probably down here, I guess. I mean, this city looks relatively peaceful. It's, it's kind of far away from everything. Um, and get, like, a workshop there of some sort, like a manufacturing business or, like, buy land and, and, and something. We'll see how that entire thing works. But, uh, yeah, because I want to invest some of this gold. I don't need it to carry it around with me. Um, and now the mercenary contract is 280. Okay. What we've learned is I don't know how the mercenary contracts work. But anyways, I think we're going to call it here. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Like, subscribe down below if you enjoyed the video. And stay tuned for the rest of the series. And uh, support the channel because it really helps out with the algorithm and everything. So, that aside, until next time, have fun, take care, and bye-bye.